Welcome back to Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, episode 3. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. And I am Ibisamaru. Well, in that case, I'm Goemon. Cool. Uh, who it's are the other damn two? damn thief again. Fuck that guy. <laughs> no, the other guy is Sasuke. But anyway, we no longer have anything to do left in this town, so we're going to leave. Aww. We got things we gotta do elsewhere. Well, more true. fortune dolls to get, more places to see, and something incredible happening this episode. An old familiar face that we've all known and loved. Oh, cool. And uh, by what you said in the last couple of episodes, uh, we pretty much beat one-fourth of the game, dungeon-wise. Uh, well, actually, more like a fifth of the game. Oh, okay. Because there's still one ultimate uh, castle at the end. Oh, course. okay, okay. We're going to use the Lord's Super Pass that we got from the first dungeon and open up this gate that now opens. That opens. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Had got to stuck load. for a second. Just, there we go. I love this. Oh, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, well. Sucks for you guys. Have fun being there for the rest of the game. Special ability? I open the gate. Okay, first we're going to head left here. See that metal box up there? Yes. We can't move that until, like, halfway through the game, pretty much. Oh my gosh, another one. That way leads to, like, north. So this is like Shinshu Field, to that big observatory with the sword up top that leads to the northern Kam Kamui. We're not going that way, we're, he we're heading south, just like always. What is our next objective, I might ask? Our next objective is to go over here. We'll soon learn of our next objective later on. Right okay. now, we're just right now we're gonna find out more about these Peach Mountain Shogun dudes that the Lord told us to go figure out. <laughs> I was just thinking, like your to-do list is literally go this way. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you actually see it in the game. Yeah, go this way. Yeah, go yeah this way. What are these things supposed to be? I don't really know. They're just like weird dolls that shoot pokeballs at you. Oh, I thought there was lore behind it. Is there? I don't know. There probably is. That takes us to Iga, which is more like an extension of uh, the Kai Highway, apparently. Is that really how you pronounce it, Iga? Well, yeah. I-G-A. The, the syllables are always the same, so yeah, Iga. Sure. Iga, maybe? I don't know. Does that have any significance? Probably not. Okay. I mean, this is, this is based on real places in Japan, after all. Well, I'm just thinking, like, yeah, what, what are all these names based off? What do they really mean? Or is there a second meaning? I don't know. Well, uh, Oedo Town? Oh, shit. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do what I just did, but uh, Oedo Town is, like, old Tokyo. Oh, okay. Or not, not old, to old Kyoto. Okay. No, wait, uh, old Tokyo. I'm right, I'm right. Okay, Tokyo. You're, you're giving me mixed signals here. I want to <laughs> learn. <laughs> Teach me the way, Japan, man. Uh, a little rusty on my Japanese history, but... It's it's the old name of an old city. Post-text, what is it? Thank you. All right. I'm glad I've learned something. We've got full health now. We've finally made it to the top of this terrifying cliff mountain. Yeah, At the top of why. this terrifying cliff mountain. And now we're going to go see an old friend of ours. Yes! <clears throat> we're going to go see the wise man. Yeah, I don't remember him. He was the guy at the beginning of the game who uh, invented that ghost time machine or whatever. Oh, that's right! He created Sasuke. Yes! And we're gonna go see his house. What's up, wise man? Yes! Huh? Oh, dear. Oh, lord. Oh. Oops. Wise man. Uh, oh my! <laughs> oh, that's all you have to say, huh? A little slow on the uptake, aren't you, going one? <laughs> oh. Luckily, the only thing that survived was this. It's the conch shell. I mean, the triton shell. So wise man's dead, I guess. Well, okay. That's like a very dark turn. 
Especially with uh, this music playing. Well, now he's gonna crush us with uh, his giant robot. <laughs> so now we're gonna crush him in our own. I love how he just spins out of nowhere. He's like, see ya! <laughs> we blow our fabulous Triton shell and call in the character. Oh. This is one of my favorite songs in the game. Jam into it. Love it. As we go see our friend Impact. God, these next gen graphics. <laughs> He's got a heart of silver. <laughs> Sorry. He's got a face of steel. And controlling him is me. <laughs> the go I bought. Ready for action. It's impact. It's impact, everyone's favorite weird face looking dude. <laughs> Who can really skate? It also brings forth the kaiju method of uh, going on. But anyway, <laughs> uh, the key here is to destroy as much crap as you can and, <laughs> and avoid doing that because that takes away time. Oh. The, more, the more that you destroy in this part, the more health you're going to end up getting. And uh, you also get coins, which works as ammunition for stuff. You can blow crap up. Oh, Very tall okay. buildings will uh, hinder your process, of course, uh, those gaps as well. And also bridges. You gotta jump over those too, otherwise you lose time and don't destroy as much <laughs> stuff and don't get as much health. Impact! What are you gonna help me with? Breaking shit! I'm gonna destroy this entire valley! <laughs> How many lives have you destroyed in Impact? I'm the good guy here. <laughs> like, like, you just destroyed a child's graduation? What else have you destroyed? Oh, uh, orphanages, schools, <laughs> churches. All those puppies! Uh, pu yeah, puppy mills, kitten mills, hamster mills. <laughs> Does anyone object to these, uh, these two being wed? Ah! Oh, I didn't destroy that building. That was, uh, that was actually a, uh, neo-Nazi facility, but I destroyed all those other buildings, so now <laughs> we're ready to take on this, this, uh, one boss now. Okay, fine. That was the funniest thing. Was it? That was awful, actually. I feel bad for making that joke. Well, no, not that neo-Nazi thing. That was your fault. Oh. I'm talking about the fact that you destroyed everything. Oh, okay. So. Impact bosses in this game worked a whole lot different because I got a chain thing that I can use now, pull them close to me, and then punch them right in the face. Oh, that's so much more helpful. I tried to combo, but it didn't work as well. B button works as your short, quick punch, and A works as your get the fuck out of here punch. That's A's just... only function? Yeah. And uh, R works as my chain pipe, so uh, I can just latch them on whenever I want to. Every single punch to the face takes away 100 damage, pretty much. Ugh, I hate when he spams this because it takes away health every time. And I can't latch onto him. You can also block the chain pipe with those things, but once he does that... Well, oh, I'm waiting for it. Yeah. Just oh. gonna show, show off his moveset here. Now he flies in the air, he's gonna throw umbrellas at me. <gasps> no, not umbrellas! Uh, if I were to give him a chance to, anyway. Ah! I don't know how the combos work. But this isn't the only impact fight we'll have, and I'll show off the combos in a later date. I'm glad you're brutally honest about it. I don't know how the combos work. Well, I say that because in Goemon's Great Adventure, you could just hit start uh, at, the, at these fights, and it'll tell you exactly what the combos are. Here, oh. I got fucking nothing. Wow, I've never I even seen the manual to this game ever from the from the times I've played this game. Oh, wow. I need to look up a PDF for you. Yeah, I'll look up some combos later, but right now we'll focus on taking care of this pretty easy guy. Now, his health bar is at the top, right? Yes. Okay. His, health, his health bar is at the top. My Rio is how many things I can shoot at him, but really it doesn't matter. And oil is my health. Okay, I was wondering about that. Ah. Oh, oh. 
Oh. All right, let's not do the combos anymore. It doesn't seem to be working too well. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Neither is standing in place getting missiles to the face. I wanted to see if that would work as a tactic. Apparently not. <laughs> Maybe if I take enough damage, he'll be he'll go easy on me. So I'm kicking somehow. I'm not sure how. I gotta really gotta look at these combos. I'm just trying. I'm just trying shit out and trying to figure out how do you do the big beam because that's obviously what that flashing thing in the middle is. So I guess I'll just use the chain pipe and try and latch onto him and oh god this move. I can't hurt him here, but he can hurt me pretty well if I don't hit him. So his little uh, double self is gonna start hitting me, but as long as I follow him, he's not gonna get the chance. Made of leaves. except for that chance. Oh shit! Ah, <laughs> oh, you may have latched onto me, but I've got missiles on my side. Missiles and umbrellas. Because he's a kabuki robot, get it? Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, he's catching on to my tactics. I'm running out of health. But we're not going to die. I uh -huh. told you, we're not going to die. Yeah, sure. We are not dying, I swear to you. It's a thing that's not happening. Get it out of your mind. Oh, yeah, okay. I promise. He's almost dead, and so are we, but still. It's time to get serious. It's time to chain and punch him in the face accordingly. Well, this makes it more dramatic. Oh, God. Eh, 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 eh. There. It's like, who will die first? Which behemoth will meet their end? Oh. God, it really does feel like a kaiju match, doesn't it? Everybody, <laughs> the dudes in rubber suits just flipping backwards. <laughs> oh. oh. And destroying the rubber set. <laughs> Whoa! I think it needs more explosions, though, and more people going, Oh! oh, oh, oh <laughs> yeah, that, oh, that's, oh, that's it Needs a lot that. more stock footage. Can you just put some stock footage in the background or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of people looking shocked. It's, that's what this needs. It needs to be in black and white and, you know, <laughs> need terrible dubs. Oh! Look at them fighting! They're fighting right there! Ah! And then Gamera comes in and destroys the place! Oh shit! Oh, no. oh. <laughs> that was a special present from Godzilla. Stop ripping off my franchise. I get him. I always get him at the wrong time. Damn it! <laughs> ah! Oh god, you're We're so... not dying! No! We are not dying! It's a thing that's not happening! <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep telling yourself that. You're it's not, not happening! Me. No, no, shut up, it's not happening. You well, can you tell know, me how it's going to happen, but it's not going to happen. I'm well, telling you what. You know, the. well, of course you're not going to die when you say, oh, I just jump cut to the next available footage. <laughs> I'm not doing that. This is all one take, dude. All right, all right. I promise you. you. We're now not going to die. He's going to die first. And, yep, it's over. It's over. Let's use the over murder here. beam. And then face. Oh, that does a lot of damage. I got to learn how that beam works. I got to learn all these combos so I can take him down faster. He's so powerful, how could I beat him? And then... And... Boom. Ooh, there, I was waiting for it. It needed the boom. Wouldn't be nothing without the boom. <laughs> Impact's so happy. Blood has been spilled this night. I killed him. Oh, right, that's the game I was playing. I forgot. Thanks for the reminder. And he's like, well, I got to go back to filming a movie. Can you imagine what type of face he, or uh, face, what type of voice he would have? I have to go back to America <laughs> and film a movie. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint right now. Yes. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, good. I'm going the wrong way. I could just imagine going on, like, after this entire Impact segment, he just goes, Oh, that was a thing. That's normal in Japan. Because really, we're still in Iga. But I'm going the wrong way. Well, I guess you just... You just love these flowered fields. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, these flower fields are... Wait, wait there was never a flower field here. Oh. Wait a minute. That looks like the end of the world, and sure enough, yeah, this is completely backtracking. Whoops. Shit! Speed it up. So we are running back to the place where we need to go now because we're fast forwarding stuff and that is what we're gonna do. Yay. Alright, so now we're back in Zazen Town. 
That's what this place is going to be up here. Spoiler warning. No! I love jumping in time with the music. I don't know, it just makes me want to get up and dance. But wait! An old face, an old friend, and probably one of the best characters. Sakura. Eh, I'm gonna smack you for that. <laughs> I just assumed every ninja's named Sakura. Oh, Yai kicks Sakura's ass <laughs> out of the water, man. <laughs> yes, I know. I've played as her. I think we all have at one point. <laughs> We've all played her, if you know what I'm saying. No, I wasn't going there. <laughs> no, Yai is actually one of the most awesome female ninjas ever. Sweet. Actually, I like this version of her because she's got like the full bodysuit and everything. It's uh, it's very, very fetching. Very, you know, it matches well with her hair. It's a cool design. I love it. And then they upped her. They changed her character. She gave they gave her new clothes. Is what I'm trying to say. Can we get a show of what she looks like now? And then um, the new design she has. It looks all skimpy, and she's got she's like miss, she's got like uh, oh. weird socks that don't mean anything, and oh, that wonderful zip tied yoi key. Got to show that upper thigh. Yeah, Look, they, it just I think they, they they gave her cleavage too. It just looks awful. Up the polygons. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. But now we have Yai, and we're going to play as her for a while. I thought you were about to say Abisamaru is Yai. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> if he's tomorrow, no! Oh, no, no, cold is da! Not again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is no. she faster? Uh, I like to think so. I like to think <laughs> that Goemon jumps a little bit better. Yeah, he runs a little bit faster. Maybe Samaru. Well, anyway, uh, we'll just uh, explore here for a bit. We're gonna get a, a pretty important item here. If I can talk to him. Like if the I jumping mechanic. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I gotta actually go there. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, we'll get the plum rice balls. It's pretty much a fairy. Oh, really? We are not going to die. It's not going to happen, I'm telling you what. All right, all right. So, I'll just cut through here. Well, now that you're clearly cheating. Well, I'm not cheating, but uh, <laughs> this is a pretty important part for later. Okay. But we'll hit this deer trap, and then... Doop. <gasps> what? Silver fortune doll. Oh. It's weighing her down. Ah! I think that's the only one in here that we can get for now. There's one more silver fortune doll that we get, like, at the very, very end of the game, pretty much. But, uh... So we got Mount Nigoitake. Uh, this this is a very confusing village because there's many different exits, and there's two halves to the village, and they look kind of the same. Yeah, I noticed that. It's a pretty big map from the looks of it. Yeah. There's one place we need to go first. <laughs> the ducks. Yeah, Duck Creek, and I think it's at the other side of the village. Yes. Well, this is a good tour guide moment for me. Yeah, we're getting a good uh, view of the village before we start looking around at places. I'm seeing a game I've never seen before. I'm enjoying every minute of it. We have hope you've enjoyed this tour of Japan. Like, this is all of Japan. This is all it is. This is exactly what Japan looks like today, 2015. Exactly. Like, if I'm on a bus ride and I look to my right, I'll see a giant kaiju battle and it would be awesome. Every girl has green hair. <laughs> so, Gojo Ahashi Bridge. This is the place we need to go. We find another familiar face in Japanese folklore. Benkei. Hanging out by the bridge as always. So, uh... Yeah, this, this is what he used to do, the real Benke. He uh, stood on a bridge, and he pretty much was a bandit. A huge bandit, and he's not going to let us pass. What a dick. So, we'll just go jump in a creek. You had so much to live for! Uh, well, not really. Now we're going to get to... Uh, oh, that's one so of my, depressing! <laughs> uh, this is one of my uh, least favorite parts of the game. Can't get up there yet. We can't get there until the end of the game. Oh, Okay. But, uh, this is one of my least favorite parts of the game, I think. And why is that? Like, top five least favorite. 
That's uh, that's a lot of unlikable things in here. Well, first off, I went the wrong ass way. <laughs> Again! <laughs> so that's why you hate it. You just don't know your directions. Oh, it's been a while since I played this game, but I'm, I'm learning so much, though. Remembering so much, I mean. Don't you just love that when you've played a game for so long, it just all comes back? It's muscle memory at that point? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Included is wrong ass ways. Yep. But again, we're getting a tour of Japan. <laughs> now, is it a wrong ass way or a wrong ass way? Well, we are playing as Yai, so... No, 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 no. no, no. This is the right way. We gotta talk to this guy, Yoshitsune! Do you know Ben K? Yeah, you should. How did you know? God, he's like twitching something fierce. It's, it's the show he's talking. Oh, okay. Did you know whenever everybody talks, their shoulders <laughs> move as well? <laughs> I mean, when you speak, you use air from your lungs, but. Well, well okay. Well, yeah. uh. Joke aside, we need to go catch some fish now. Oh, uh, a fishing minigame! I'm gonna have Will Be Tomorrow do this. Get some, e get some exercise, because now fish have appeared in the stream. We need to catch three blue fish. <laughs> I'm gonna get them! There's one. I got him. There's two. <laughs> oh my god. And oh. there's... Whoop, uh, there, uh, oh. uh, 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 there he there's, is! There's three, okay. So what happens if you get the wrong fish? It doesn't count. Oh, so you'll collect the fish, but nothing will happen. Yeah, you don't lose the you don't lose fish, and it doesn't like hurt you. It just says, "Hey, okay. it's not a blue fish." So now we gotta get five yellow fish. Oh, it's a collectathon. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's my type of game now. I'm glad that we don't have to actually fish them out. <laughs> oh, the test of patience. Oh, okay, I see. Huh. And if you look at the pause screen, it tells you how many fish you've caught. Oh, that's handy. I'm so I'm so distracted. I would have gone straight for a blue fish again. <laughs> well, think of it as golden fish. Yeah. And one more. Uh, any more down here? Yep, yep. I think there's uh, one. I, Over I there. see it in the distance. Uh, that draw uh, distance so good on N64. That's what you get for 64 bit. You don't see this shit on PlayStation. No, you just get games that work. Uh, oh. This game worked. <laughs> I'm kidding. I never played a game that didn't work on N64. Actually, the PlayStation N64 era was probably the greatest era because games were actually awesome. But PlayStation introduced loading times, which I always hated. True, but they got creative sometimes. They had a lot of really good games, though. a lot of really weird games, because no one knew what to do with the console that wasn't Nintendo. <laughs> that they had more lenient third-party support. Yeah, good point. So now we gotta get eight red fish. It's like, yeah. dude, dude, you got seven fish. I think you're gonna be fine. No, but I want to... I gotta separate them properly. Now I want you to get more than double of what I have now. Well, how much do you have? Well, I don't know. Well, <laughs> it's because I got a blue fish with it. Yes, yeah. you're you're gonna cause like a syntax error to happen in the middle of this. My God, is he getting thinner? I think he's getting <laughs> thinner, dude. Maybe he is. He's running it off. The water the water level's rising. This is sweat. Oh, no. no. All the fishes float to the top. Here you go. <laughs> Dead. I wanted a live fish. I want to throw them in my pool so I can catch them myself. Because I don't have any friends. Except for Ben K. Oh, that's right. Well, I don't think Ben K would be that good of a friend. I mean, look at that. He's just standing on a bridge all day. You catching fish down there? Didn't mean to climb up that, sorry. There's no fish up there. There's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just want to tease Abisamaru by putting him on a treadmill and tying a Klondike bar to the end of a pole. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Eight, eight red fish. Well, he's going to be getting his uh, glory moment because uh, we're about to get to his leg of the game, so to speak. Oh, okay. So we're going to rock his yai for a while, though. Once we finish this annoying bit. <laughs> I could have sworn you said rock his yai, and I was like, whoa. No, no, rock as <laughs> yai. Okay. No. No, not rock yai, no! <laughs> oh, 
Well, I mean, what if Abisamaru has his own Yai? Oh, wow. So he gives us an Achilles heel. Oh, my. What we're going to use. Oh, yeah. We're going to use this to take down Ben K once and for all, which is what we're going to do next time on Let's Play Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. We're Ushi... going to abuse somebody with a log. Ushiwaka? Wait a minute. That's. That's Waka. Oh, my God.